Hey guys, Aceboy here, and welcome back to another Stick War 2 modding video. The support for the last video was really awesome to see, and it seemed a lot of you guys were really interested in this modding thing, more than I was expecting, and that's awesome to hear. So I'm back with a part two. It is important to note that if you've not watched part one, you missed the setup, so you might want to get on that unless you know what you're doing, and if so, then continue on. In this video, I'm going to address some of the errors that some of you guys were having. Uh, some of you guys were crashing when trying to play as Chaos and stuff like that. So I'm just going to help you guys out there and try and point you in a correct direction. If we head into the campaign constants here, we can see that our player race is order. Uh, and let's change that. So we're going to change order to Chaos. And this is probably all you would need to do to become a Chaos Empire, right? Uh, of course, probably you don't want to be giving yourself a Sword Wrath because you literally don't have them in the Chaos Empire. So I'm going to give a cat instead. That is how the crawlers are referred to, by the way. And so if we were to replace the campaign constants and try to run this bad boy, we would expect to be playing as the Chaos Empire. But what actually happens when you do this is it crashes the game. So what the heck, man? I thought I did everything I had to do. Well, there is a sneaky little thing that you guys need to pay attention to when editing these uh, campaign constants here. To identify most errors, uh, if you set up your debug mode, you could run the debug mode and it would take a while to load, but once it does, now this process can take anywhere from like 30 seconds to like a minute or more depending on your computer so make sure uh, you do a water check or something when you press the debug button because you will be sitting here for just a little bit longer than you would probably want to. Once it finally loads you'll be able to press continue a few times and then it'll load one last time and then you can continue for realsies. And just like that now we're running it in debug mode and whenever the code errors it's going to snap right to where that error was and we should hopefully be able to figure out why the heck we can't play as the Chaos Empire. So if we hop into a game we are greeted with an error and here it is uh break at line 220 so if we head to 220 here is the culprit setting fast forwards visibility to false well chaos never had fast forward so of course why wouldn't it air out here right and on top of that this is the campaign tutorial, so it references the Spear Tins and the Sword Wrath multiple times, all of which you do not have. So now that we've figured out why it has errored, what can we do about that? Well, it's quite simple. We remove the controller and leave it empty. Don't delete the quotes. Uh, leave, leave them empty quotes and do a nice save and a replace. And now we should have a much better time trying to play as the bad guys. So we hop in here, we can now see that we are able to play as the Chaos Empire and uh, it didn't break. So this is great news. Uh, it means there is nothing super crazy we had to figure out. And as you can see, yeah, no fast forward is here. Totally explains why that error would have happened. And uh, now we're able to be Chaos. So for those of you who are dealing with that, make sure to always check if the controller is there. Uh, for most purposes, you're gonna wanna get rid of the controllers unless you are customly building them for levels, but we're not gonna be getting into that until a much later video because that's pretty difficult stuff. Um, but there you go. That's how you can play as the Chaos Empire. The other thing is some of you guys were a little confused because a lot of the names do not match what they actually are nowadays to us, such as uh, the Merrick being referred to as Monk and the Crawler being referred to as Cat. And there is a really simple way for you guys to be able to check how to put these guys in. Uh, you could just look through and see if you can find a reference, but that could take some time. An even simpler way is just referring back to this video whenever you have a question, because here are all the names 
for all the units as they are referred to in the text file. Whoops, I forgot the magi kill, but you already you already do how to refer to the magi kill. He's a magi kill. You will notice a bit of inconsistencies with the unit names. They are mostly accurate in the scripts, except for a few like Archer. Uh, that is not how the Archidon is referred to. It's simply Archidon. But if you just refer back to this video, you should never have any problems with uh, typing in the incorrect unit. So for the order units, we have Miner, Swordrath, Archidon, Monk for the Merrick, Magi Kill, Spiritan, Ninja for the Shadow Wrath, Flying Crossbowman for the Albatross, and Enslaved Giant for the Enslaved Giant. For Chaos Units, we have Chaos Miner for the Enslaved Miners, Cats for Crawlers, Dead, Skeletal Mage for the Marokai, Medusa, Bomber, Knight for Juggernaut, Winged On for Eclipser, and Giant. So, now you know what the unit names are referred to in the campaign constants, and hopefully you guys should have no more trouble with that. Another thing that you guys were curious about was how to get a list of all the possible statues and what their names are. As you can see, uh, you can add a statue for the opponent and the player. So there is a very simple way to do this, and it's a little bit... You gotta search it just a little bit, but we head into the sprites here. And here we have the sprites for everything in the game. And you're simply going to want to just keep scrolling until you find the statue. And that is where the information will reside. So after scrolling for a while, you'll find this statue. And then you'll see it basically spamming every single statue possibility. Um, it, they are simply separate frames, but all part of the same uh, sprite. So if you head in to define sprite 1904 specifically uh go into the frame there's a frame label and from here you'll be able to find the name of the statue so for this case this is the default order statue for here this is the giant statue and it's referred to giant and here is the dead statue is referred to as dead and all of that you can basically find in the frame labels, and that is how things are referred to. So now you know every possibility for the statues. Other things to keep in mind in the campaign constants is the opponent only has one P in it. That was a spelling mistake, and it is prevalent everywhere. So be careful. Don't double P your opponent. Only P a little bit. There's also normal health scale, hard health scale, and insane health scale, as well as these normal hard and insane modifiers, and they change the stats of the units, uh, particularly the enemies. And the way unlocking works is you need to put the unlock on the level ahead of it. So if you wanted to unlock the Archidons, it is put on the ninja level because before the ninja level, is when you fight the Archidons. So, and you can see there, it unlocks the Spiritans, which is the level before it, and then there was nothing to unlock. So that's how the unlock system works within the campaign constants. And now there's only one last thing to cover, and that is the unit composition. So this is pretty straightforward. Uh, basically, this is what your opponent AI is going to strive to build. So on the Blot Out the Sun level, they are opting to try and make four sword wrath and 25 archidons at some point and that is their strategy so you can change the numbers to have an impact in what's going to change you can also give starter gold and mana if 500 zero is not your desired amount and that about wraps up the campaign constants basically that should be everything you need Next episode, we're going to be getting into making custom units, and while that does take a little bit more effort and some programming, the results are certainly worth it, and you guys will see that soon. So thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know what other questions you have about Stick War 2 modding, and if there's anything I can help answer in the comment section, I certainly will. But as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.